Good morning everyone. We are the group 3 and we are going to report the topic 3 which is called rotational muscles. Rotational muscles are most popularly known as rotator muscles or muscles that serve to rotate a certain part of the body. Here are the topics under rotational muscles. We have here the obliques, IT band, vastus lateralis, and lastly, the abductor and adductor. Oblique muscles. Oblique muscles is a group of muscles of the abdomen acting together, forming a firm wall supporting the spine and internal organs, keeping them in their expected position. It consists two layers, which is the internal and external, that are strong muscles connecting the front of the body to the back. It can be found in the outermost muscle, located on both sides of the trunk, just underneath the skin. The internal oblique muscle. The internal oblique muscle lies under the external muscle and also originates at the iliac crest before reaching the pubic bone. It is the deeper layer. Ipsilateral rotator, which is the left side muscle that rotates to the left. External oblique muscle. The thickens and runs from the lower ribs to the iliac crest. A contralateral rotator, which the right side muscle rotates to the left. It is the outer layer. What does obliques function in dancing? So when the internal and external oblique works together, they would create a left rotation. As the rotation is created, the muscle shortens. It can also create a flexion and a combination of flexion and left rotation that fully shortens the muscle. Here are the exercises for the oblique muscles. We have here the side planks. To do the side planks, you have to start on your side with your feet stuck on top of each other and your bottom forearm directly below your shoulder. Second, you have to engage your core and raise your hips until your body is in a straight line from head to toe. And lastly, hold this exact position without letting your hips drop for 30 seconds or more. Then repeat on the other side. The second exercise for oblique muscle is called side plank dip. What you have to do in this exercise is that you have to start in a side plank. Second is to drop your hips toward the floor and raise back to starting position or a little higher if you can. The last exercise is called sit-ups to twist. What you have to do in this exercise is that you have to lie on your back with your knees bent and feet flat to the floor. Second, place your hands behind your head. Engage your core and do a full sit-up. At the top of the sit-up, bring your right elbow to your left knee and twist your body toward that side. Third is to lower back down to start. And lastly, repeat this movement alternating sides each time.